Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Gather Creator Spotlight. I am super excited to have Freya Christian with us today. Freya and I have been here in this space together for like two years now, and we just got a chance to meet in person a couple of months ago, which was super thrilling. And I have to say that ever since meeting Freya, you know, she had been in business probably before me because you're an earlier entrepreneur, I think, than I was. But, you know, just the ability to connect with people on a personal level, regardless of you know, what we're even talking about, I think is one of your superpowers, right? You're just really friendly and engaging and warm. And, you know, when I met you and joined in the, the Women of the World Network and all of that, it was just a really natural, easy relationship. And I've been super happy ever since. So welcome to our little interview today. This is your Gather Creator Spotlight. So let's talk about you. Let's tell me and tell everyone who's watching, you know, a little bit about you and your life. What got you here and what do you do? Thank you for that, Tracy. I mean, thank you for doing these spotlights for us. This is, um, in, in, you know, incredible that you do this for us. And same here, feelings mutual. I, I you know, I, I think we have so much in common. It's crazy. Like, and to think that we've only met in person once that that's crazy too. But um, I, I wish you lived closer. We would totally hang out all the time. Agreed. <laughs> so, um, so back to your question though. So I've, I've had quite a journey and I, I'm one of those um, multi-passionate people. So I've, I've, you know, been in different stages in business and I've, I've kind of been in total in business for about like 15 or so years, really doing different things. Um, so I, a little bit about me. I was born and raised in the Philippines. So I migrated here for college and I actually started, um, I, I mean, I'm still in, in the tech industry. So I, I, I have a background in software engineering and um, right now I'm doing, I'm more into project management. Uh, and, and what really got me to start thinking of, you know, like doing the, you know, the, it's so popular these days having like a side hustle or, or you know, like some, something on the side, right? Like multiple streams of income. So um, my first um, experience in, in business was actually a t-shirt print shop with, with my ex-husband. So that was a very interesting experience. And I learned a lot from it, but it also um, made me realize that I needed to be in a creative space right? Always aside from, from what I do for my full-time job. So I, I learned that from that first experience. And, uh, and then I moved into um, the world of direct sales. So, you know, I have, like, you know, I, I really love that world. I think what, what got me and what was unexpected was that I learned so much from it and being in a community of, um, it was a jewelry company actually that I was in, um, being a company of such strong-minded women really lifted me up, really empowered me. And I realized like I've always kind of been in that space of women's women empowerment, right? I think I mentioned to you that even in college, I was like president of society of women engineers. Like I was always, it was always kind oh, of- Oh no, I don't think I've heard that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I, I was president of that, that um, the chapter in Sacramento State. So um, I, it's always kind of just been part of me. That's really something I've been passionate about. And also um, not just about women, but also um, shining a spotlight on small business because I had been there. I, I was, you know, I was the one who was going to vendor events, you know, selling my design, selling, you know, so I, I, I get it. Like I, I was one of those um, makers, right? So yeah. um, now I've decided to step out really. I had been coaching in my direct sales um, business, to, to a capacity, but now um, in, in the midst of the pandemic, I decided, you know what, I really want to impact more women. I really want to impact more small businesses. And that's when I stepped into visibility and confidence coaching, which is what I do now. So I'm, I love it. I'm really passionate about it. And um, I'm just looking to, you know, make, make an even bigger impact and help more women. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. You know, I really hadn't thought about it in a while, but when you first started doing your visibility and confidence coaching, I remember the, the idea that I had also felt, which was I have my team and I, you know, in the direct selling type business that I had been in, we have our team and we want to help them, but there's only so many people. And what about all these people who that is not their thing? Right. Like, what about this woman who doesn't want to be a health coach, right. but, but the things that I've learned could help her. Absolutely. And yeah, same feeling. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And, and so, yeah, I mean, 
I, I have always thought of myself, I mean, I love my experience being um, in the jewelry direct sales business, but I also wanted to take what I've learned, you know, and, yeah. and again, make a difference to more people. Someone um, said the other day at our event that it's a great business school. It is. Right. It's a great yeah. place to, to start. And maybe it's your thing, but if nothing else, it is a great way to learn. I definitely learned how to be a coach by being a health coach with that business. And even though I don't do it anymore, it's like, that was the catalyst. And, and all of that personal and professional development that is emphasized, right? To really understand, which is what we're now emphasizing with everyone that we work with, that if you work on yourself and you work on your skills and you work on your understanding of why you're even doing what you're doing and all of those details it's that's what keeps us going because then we're excited to go to work every day oh my gosh yes and that's that's why I, you know my my business name is actually Ch chasing happy mondays right and, i love that so much yeah yeah and and at first i was like well i you know i don't want to make it seem like i only help people who do have a day day job too but the, it was it's an idea that really applies to everybody right we absolutely if we have a full-time job or not we want to have a happy Monday. Yeah. Everybody. And, and it's not, you know, I think of my teenagers who have, you know, that, oh, the weekend's over the work week is beginning. It's right. not from going to your job. You don't learn that when you're 20, you okay. learn that when you're eight. Yes. Right. <laughs> and, and in a, a lot of ways we have to kind of unlearn the fact that Mondays don't have to be the grind or the end of the fun. No, absolutely not. And especially if you love what you do, yeah. right? If you find your purpose, you find your passion, you're, you're never going to hate Mondays. Yeah, I totally agree. That was a big, a big thing that I started noticing when I started coaching, <coughs> excuse me, was all of the people who were like, oh, it's Sunday. Oh, no more fun. Time to go back to work. I'm like, I love Mondays. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I mean, I knew what they were talking about, but, you know, I wanted to help them to see, even if they weren't ready to make changes, that life doesn't have to be that way. Absolutely. Yeah. It starts with our own mindset and our thoughts and, and mm -hmm. all of that. Um, and, and that's kind of, that is my approach to, to my, so my approach when I coach is I actually, I want to be that holistic. I know that word holistic is used so much, but it's really more of a holistic approach. Like I, I love talking strategy all day and the right, getting the right tools. I think it's my techie part of me. Right. So yeah. I love that. But I also know that 80% of business is like mindset work too. Yeah. So I, I love combining the both when, when I do my coaching. Yeah, for sure. Well, I love that. So you mentioned that you were a maker and you really, I know, support makers generally. I mean, not only and not exclusively and not to the exclusion of others, Absolutely. but um, but tell us a little bit about like, because I know you have a group coaching program, you have workshops that you do. I mean, so many different offers for the women that you're serving. So tell us a little bit about what it looks like if I were a potential client, what would that look like for me? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so I, so like I mentioned, I, I, my focus is really confidence and visibility, but it's, I really am a, a business coach, right? So, um, I, I, I focus on the topics of, of confidence and visibility though. So I have right now, um, I always offer free workshops, right? I love having, you know, meeting people and getting them to, to see how I work. Um, but I, right now my signature program is um, boost your confidence and visibility. And that's a six week program. And actually the next, the next one starts on April 19th. Um, so that's coming up, but I'll be offering it several times right. throughout the year. I mean, and then, we're recording this here at the end of very end of March. So that's going to be in a few weeks, but over the course of the year that comes off and on. Yes, absolutely. So it's a six week program and it's really, um, it covers so much. It's not just, you know, it covers getting clarity, um, your, your branding, um, your visibility strategy. And then I wrap it up with some mindset. So it's a little bit of everything, but it's enough for somebody who it's either for somebody who's just starting a business or you may already be in business, but kind of want to, you know, kind of regroup and maybe do a little bit of reset and um, refresher. Right. Um, yeah. So that's what that program's about. And then I just recently, I'm very excited about this too. I recently launched a nine week sales confidence course um, that's going to be starting in May. So, and again, this is evergreen, I know, but uh, those are my two signature programs right now. Um, 
my uh what i really love doing though is building like you like you tracy i'm, I'm really big into community right um collaboration community I'm, I'm huge on that and so i decided to start something called my Fem confident fempreneur club and this is and i i love it i you know i love all the i women. love that name it's so great <laughs> thank you yeah um i don't know fempreneur just sounded like you know like a girl boss everyone uses girl boss, but I feel like, you know, fempreneur. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to say sometimes, but that's okay. So CFC, <laughs> it looks great in writing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's great on paper. Uh, but we, um, so we're, we're, a, it's a small group coaching program and it includes like some monthly one-on-one -on -one time with me, but it also has, you get monthly masterminds, you get to, I always host visibility workshops um, and where I like to collaborate with other coaches and other business owners as well. Um, I just want to provide as much value as I can. Uh, and in that program, um, there's several other perks, but those are the main things is, is having that because you met, you know, being an entrepreneur can be lonely if you don't if you don't have people, you know, who understand who are like minded, right, like hearted women. Yeah, and you've got to have people. You got to have people. And I, I think looking back at, at my I, I kind of mentioned my, my history in business. That first business that I had, I really didn't have that. I didn't seek that. I didn't think to seek that. Um, yeah. But now, but now I do. Now I know. I'm like I, I can't do this alone. And I know a lot of women feel that way. So I, this is what I do with, with, with that club. Is is you know, it's a monthly subscription program, and um, and I, you know, I absolutely love it. And I, I you know, I want to grow that club uh, even more. And um, like you said, I'm resonating right now with the creative women entrepreneurs. That you know, I. I don't necessarily work exclusively just with makers, but I, you know, some, I think it's my vibe too, because I'm, I'm a very creative person. So <laughs> I yeah, I mean, we, we're going to attract, you know, energy, like energy, right. Yes. And, you know, I think that is one reason why we get along while I don't really talk about my crafty side. I'm like a, you know, closet art geek musician yeah. over here that, <laughs> you know, loves talking art and design and, you know, all of the creative things, even though it doesn't really show up unless you're looking at, you know, when I was in my twenties yeah. and, you know, talking about college or talking about, you know, the early days of Tracy, um, it doesn't really show up. A lot of people don't know until all of a sudden, you know, someone starts talking about marching band and I start geeking out, <laughs> but, you know, but there's that energy. And so, you know, I tend to gravitate towards other people who have that creative spirit. And so I'm sure that that's the same for you. Absolutely. And that's, that's exactly what I'm finding. Um, but, but like I said, it's, it's been, been an amazing journey. Like I, I, I actually, sometimes I want, it's like, I should have started this, you know, sooner or maybe not, maybe, you know, it just it, is what it is. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, you know, the other thing that I think that it ends up attracting like people is other adventurers, right? I know that you really love, you know, experimentation and adventure and new things and new experiences, new cultures, all those things. And, you know, I think that that's the other thing that we kind of have in common, that desire to um, kind of find everything that life has to offer. And um, that, that is actually a key trait. I, I teach this workshop um, for, um, confidence building habits and I'm actually going to um, teach that online uh, in person pretty soon so to me that's one key is is being in that mode of I want to try something new I want to step out of my comfort zone and I want to try yeah. that thing that builds your confidence that's actually you know um a, a, something that I or that I, like I really encourage um, yeah. I work with to do well and the desire to do it and then the willingness to do it Yes. Right. The ability to say, not only I want to step outside my comfort zone, or that's like, that's interesting out there outside my comfort zone, but then to actually take the step out of the circle that you've put yourself in and, and see what it's like, or, you know, it, cause you know, this is 2022. Most of those things are not going to kill us. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right? <laughs> like we're not dealing with saber tooth tigers outside the cave, you know, opening anymore. Yeah. So the ability to, to stand up and say, I want to try something new and going after it, you know, there's something like deep seated in us that tells us don't mm -hmm. because don't get eaten by the saber tooth tiger. But mm -hmm. for those of us who gravitate towards trying to shush that voice and move forward with it, that's, like I said, I think we're attracting each other in that way because, um, 
because it's not everyone. And, you know, a lot of people are still stuck in the cave. And I think, you know, it's both of our missions to help them see that outside that cave is just outside. It's not, you know, it's not necessarily dangerous. It's just unknown. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, I think, I think you and I um, have some, some alignment in what we teach to Tracy. Um, I'm just thinking about that now you're being bold, right? And I, I always sure. have confidence. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, I really do have to say though, that um, I work most, so I work exclusively with women who have businesses, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like just saying that, hey, I, I own a business or even just starting a business, that's, that takes confidence and guts right there. That's, yep. you know, not, not for everybody. yeah, not for everybody, right? Some, some people are, and then that's fine. I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, if, if you just yeah. you want to stay with your day job, that's fine. But um, just the fact that you want to do something more, you want to put yourself out there, that takes confidence and it just needs some develop, you know, just, right. I, I still have to work on mine. I, I'll be honest. Like I'm still working on mine every day. Yeah. We got to master it. Right. As they say. Yes. Well, and I think the other thing that you're a really good example is if you do have your day job and you really enjoy it and you're really good at it and all those things, and you have this business that you're creating in this community that you're creating, you know, alongside it. And I don't say on the side or in the spare time, but alongside, right? It's a blend. Yeah. It's not even a balance. It's a blend. And, you know, and that's something that's really to be admired for a lot of people who are working their job, their career, and are like, I can't do anything. I got a job. I got to pay the bills. Well, of course you can, because people like Freya are showing us the way to be able to do both. And, you know, whether that's a short-term strategy or a long-term strategy, it doesn't matter. It's all about what works right for the person and being able to help them, you know, move along their own path. Absolutely. It's a matter of being clear of what your vision, your, your goals, your, your priorities, once yeah. you're clear on that, then you, you will find a way you, you will yeah. find a way to manage your schedule, you know, your energy, your time, it, you'll find a way to do it. So, and knowing what you want and know yeah, right? what do you want it to look like? Cause a lot of times I think we tell ourselves things should be a different way. And like, who says, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. So um, let's see. So we talked about your, your, six week program. We talked about confident sales. We talked about Fempreneur Club. Yeah. Um, we should touch on women of the world because you're heavily involved with them as well. Oh, thank you for reminding me. And yeah. I just actually interviewed Elle. So between the two of you, like these videos won't come out at the same time, but they will exist in the same world. So, um, yeah, so go ahead. Yeah. Talk about that yeah. a little bit. So women of the world is, is like a passionate, uh, something I've been passionate about for a while. I've been in that network since since Elle started it, really. Um, I came on as a chapter leader. And then this year, um, I got the opportunity to step up as the leadership development manager, which means I, um, I work with all the chapter leaders, you know, onboarding them and training them and, and just, you know, empowering them, right. Yeah. Uh, and I love this network. I, I've been in, I've been networking for a while now, because um, it's absolutely necessary, right, if you have a business. And I, although I do love, like, there's many other networks out there that I, I do, I do love what they do. Um, there's something special about women in the world. And maybe, maybe because it's also, I, re I resonate as an immigrant, I resonate, you know, having come from a different country, that's being in a multinational, multicultural group like that. Um, it's, it, it, it feels really good to me. But I also love that Elle um, puts a lot of emphasis in personal growth and development. Uh, yeah. It's not just a networking group to get leads, right? It's not just that, although you can do that too, but it's, it's, she really cares about, we, I mean, not just L, the chapter leaders too, everybody in the women in the world, we really do care about our members and, and how can we provide more value to them? How can we help them, help them become more visible in their businesses, right? How help them really thrive and grow. So yeah. um, I, I really love that group. And I and thank you for reminding me to, to talk. Absolutely. About well, and I've been a member for, what is it, a year and a half? now or something like that, maybe just a little over, no, about a year and a half. Anyway. Um, and Elle described it the other day perfectly. And I don't remember exactly what she said, but something to the effect of, um, that the women in the membership of women of the world network are like, everyone is kind and generous and genuinely cares about the other people and wants to support each other, not because they're going to get something out of it, but because everyone's, 
you know, it's like, we're not in the same boat. We're in the same storm. They're all in the same storm. They came here in different boats, you know, whether they are new to this country or have been here since they were younger or like people like me have always been here, but want to really expand my understanding of people who aren't like me. And it's been such a learning experience and such a wonderful experience to get to know the women that I've met um, that, you know, I recommend it to, to everyone that I meet and especially those who um, come are coming from another culture and, and would really find value in connecting with other people who are, you know, making life happen um, despite the challenges of, you know, adjusting to a new place. I mean, I can't even imagine if I were to go to the Philippines and try to make a life, like I can't even imagine how difficult that would be and how, um, how foreign would, it would feel, you know, to be in a different place like that. I have no perspective. So I love learning from all of you about that. I'll tell you one thing, Tracy, you will stand out. I would be so giant. <laughs> that really tall lady at because everyone I'm Filipino I'm really short right most yeah. of short so oh They'd my be like is that a woman or is that a tree <laughs> who is that tall purple corporal haired woman <laughs> they, they used to always tell me that when I was young you know I grew up in Cupertino and which is you know the beginning of Apple computer and yeah. my dog <laughs> it's okay <laughs> the beginning of you know the the tech industry basically was where I grew up people used to always tell me, oh, if you went to Japan, they would be like, oh my gosh, tall blonde girl, da, 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 da. And, um, and I never went. And so that always kind of stuck with me though. And especially after meeting you, I think you come up to about here on me and, um, <laughs> and it's, well, <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's a blur, but, um, but it is funny and it is awesome to, you know, even on Zoom, getting to know everyone. And then someday, obviously, we'll have even more fun in, um, you know, sharing, sharing our, our hugs and, and actually getting to be in person more often. So that'll yeah, happen too. I, I really can't wait. And especially when, when people start doing retreats again, All right? I know they are, but you know what I mean? Like I'm waiting for yeah, your more. <laughs> more, when is, more. When are the ones we're going to? Like those ones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be great. Well, I love it. And so I'm trying to think if there's anything, do you have any like parting words, anything that you'd like to share as we, before we close out? Um, let me think. I think I just want to encourage all women to, like we were talking about earlier, to try at least one new thing. And it, can, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't even have to be related to your business, right? It could just be, oh, I've never had sushi. Let me have some sushi. I just, I just want you to ex kind of like expand your, um, your experiences and your perspectives because something beautiful happens when you start doing that and um, it, it just makes, you know, makes you better, makes, makes the whole world better. So thank you again, Tracy, for this, for this chance to, to be in the spotlight today. Absolutely. Perfect, perfect closeout. Thank you, Freya. Mwah, so glad to have had this time together. And um, obviously, anyone who's watching this, just check the notes, check the comments, whatever. We'll make sure that all of Freya's uh, contact information is there. And you can also find her on the Gather Community website on her own landing page. Just look for um, where it says community and you'll find her. So great, Freya. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tracy. Talk to you soon. Bye.